Yo, hello everyone. Sprints are a crucial part of agile project management. Indira makes it easy to create and manage them. In this video, we'll walk you through the process of creating a sprint in Jira. From setting goals and selecting tasks to track in progress and completing the sprint, whether you are new to Jira or an experienced user, this video will help you get the most out of your project management tool. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. The first thing that I will need you guys to do is simply head up to your browser and click into the URL section and search for Jira, as you might see here. Now, let's go ahead and search for Jira uh, official website. So it's around here, yep, here it is. And as you can see, it is Jira official website. So now we can try to get Jira for free just by clicking on this button. Right from here, you can create an account using an email. So signing up with an email, which is the longest process, or just continue with Google. So let's try Google, which is the easiest process. And I usually do this because it is very simple, very easy. And they create your account in a couple of seconds. Now, just add your sites, for example, like that. No credit card is required, which is pretty good. And we have created our account successfully with Jira. And now, one moment, our site is being created. So here we go. When you get in, explore all the products you've purchased. So you can here create a project, explore Jira product features. Uh, you will find everything from dashboard, project, issues and filters, and Jira settings. So I will show you everything, guys, in detail. It just may take some time. As you can see here, this loading uh, line is taking a little bit longer than usual but yeah it will take for you guys around five minutes maximum to create the dashboard so guys i will quit right now and i will be right back after the dashboard will be created so back to you guys now select a template for your first project here you'll find three templates the kanban scrum and job for me i'm going the, with the kanban because it is a simple table to visualize our workflow the other ones has like something like plan, prioritize, and schedule work using a Jira sprint with a backlog, board, and roadmap. And the other one is designed to help your business team collaborate and communicate with lists and calendar views, forms, and more. So let's go with the first one, which is the Kanban one, as you can see here. Now let's go and click on following. And here, give a name to your project. So I'm going to name it, for example, uh, tutorial. So here we go. And then click here to show more if you want to add team uh, settings. And then click on create a project. It is as simple as that. Now just wait, select some tools now and we will help you connect them later. So I'm going to choose Google Sheets. Um, I'm using also Microsoft Teams and GitHub. Then click on following if you'd like. If you don't, click on ignore. Now the dashboard has been successfully created for us. Now I'm going to change the language real quick guys and I will be right back to you. Unfortunately guys, I had some problem translating the website but I will just keep translating it with this function that I have in my Google Chrome. So anyway, this is the dashboard and here in the top like menu, you'll find your job here, who assigned to me, recent paintings, here the project that you have, here the filters, the dashboard, and the teams that you are working with, or if you would like to create a team, and the apps. These are the apps that I showed you before. If you'd like to add them or not, it is completely up to you. So what I'm going basically to do is simply head up and go to the search and search for sprints. And as you may see, there is nothing that called like sprints in here so unfortunately the sprints are not in this website as sprints but you can actually create them as tickets they are made here as tickets so they are not called sprints but they are created as tickets so to create a sprint which is in jira called tickets click on create and here guys all you have to do 
is just click and choose the correct option for you here for example choose the project that your sprint is going to go for let's go with tutorial here choose the sprint type for us we're gonna keep it important which is epic here the state the state of this sprint is currently to do it's not in progress and it's not done yet so we're gonna keep it like that for the state I'm going for example uh, here name it record video and for the description record a video to show up how to create sprints in Jira here go all the way down and name are responsible for the sprint I'm going to name myself here give the label a name if there was no labels that's not problem here go for the start date which is when do you have to start working on this sprint so let's choose tomorrow and when do you have to end for example right after tomorrow which is the 14th here let's give it a color black or dark gray here a reporter which is me and here you can drop any files or attachment that will help the uh, team member or the person who's gonna work on this sprint to actually create it easily or guide them with these tools so we can add here this attachment she's just a random attachment for now here related tickets we can add here uh, something from here but I'm going to keep it as blocks select the tickets I'm going to choose this one and flagged impediments and here when you're done click on create and as you may see I have successfully created the sprint now if I click on my works or projects and I want to tickets or just want to roadmap you will find here that the ticket of creating or recording the video has been successfully created it is here it, there it is the description the attachment and the title if there was any comments from anybody will be shown over here so let me just write here nice idea uh, let me just fix that nice idea register and as you can see it has been created so it is very easy for team members to communicate with you even in the ticket itself they can literally do anything in here and if they want to create add a short ticket which is a sub ticket with it for example you call the video it has to be for example in two steps the first step which is uh, record the whole video the second step which is uh, sorry guys um, edit the video so these are the two important steps to do in order to finish this sprint or tickets and now after you're done with that you are successfully created a ticket that you can share now with your members you can create now automation audit the log make it public so from here you can add restriction or non restriction you can try it from here here if you want to share it you can just copy the link from here and give it to your members and if you'd like to do anything else from deleting it, moving it, cloning it, and even exporting it to Excel or Word, you can do it through this list as you may see over here. So it is completely easy to work on and it will not take any minute from you. And as you mentioned guys, and as you can see, Sprint and Jira are something that will never be separated. Jira Sprints are very useful to do and you really guys have to take a look at it and try to use them in your future projects you will not regret it and try it for at least one week and you might even go for the premium version of Jira software so right, guys that was completely it for this video I thank you a lot for watching till now and see you guys in the next tutorial bye bye